I didn't expect myself to end up in the hospital. Hello everyone, we are exploring southern Moravia in the Czech Republic and today we're going to explore Letnis Castle and Milukov. But before that, let's see how I wake up this morning. Previously, we discovered southern Moravia's beautiful castles, slept in a cabin in the forest, hiked around one of the most beautiful forest areas and unexpectedly discovered a great historic wine festival in the city of Znojmo. But that also meant that my sleeping place for tonight wasn't the greatest. Uh, good morning, we're still in South Moravia in the Czech Republic and the night in the car was alright-ish, a bit cold, but uh, we're in the nature area, people are now slowly coming in, so I'm getting on the road again. And uh, yeah, I, I, I let, put my seat completely flat. That was kind of okay. I tried to lay down on the back seat over there or put those things down there. But this was in the end the most comfortable way. And uh, let's get further lost in the Czech Republic. And whilst the day just started, we moved from Znojmo to our first stop of the day. And we arrived at the first stop of our day, Letvigi Castle. Letnis not only has a beautiful castle, but also has the second largest castle park in the country. According to UNESCO, an exceptional example of the designated landscape that evolved in the Enlightenment and afterwards under the care of a single family. But don't only focus on the castle grounds. The outside of the palace looks wonderful as well. Letnis Castle is a 19th century restored English neo-Gothic style castle and looks beautiful from the outside as always in the Czech Republic you need to pay for any of the tours and also for example over there you'll find the greenhouse that's separate paid as well and the minaret as well so check the prices online like for example the greenhouse is 100 Czech krona and one of the tours is around 100 and see one of the prey birds passing by because that show starts at 12 o'clock not sure if that one is paid so might uh, have a look for that one as well. And by the way, even if you're not going to pay for anything here, it's still definitely worth visiting because the grounds are massive. The building looks fabulous from the outside. And also the park like this is park was a bit constructed, but afterwards there are like big lakes with a lot of swans and like it's a very nice area to walk through. And whilst the park is big and beautiful to walk through, even with a minaret at the far end of the man-made lakes. Apparently, something didn't really go well yesterday. And that impacts me now, today. Sometimes you're happy you find a free parking spot, like 25 minutes walk through the garden, like they're completely on the other side of the castle. So that saves some money, but my knee starts to hurt from, I think, the hiking yesterday, and then the whole day standing as well at the festival. Like, I didn't rest at all. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting old, I guess. Painful knee, so the 25 minutes walk seems to take ages now. Luckily, I managed to get back to the car and drive to Mikulov, a beautiful looking town on top of the hill. Unfortunately, Mikulov wasn't ready for me in the way I wanted it to be. I think that it was one of the shortest visits to Mikulov ever because the old town center is closed off for another historic wine festival. So if you saw my previous video, yesterday we had a similar wine festival going on in Znojmo, which ended on Saturday, but here it started on Friday and lasts till today. And I'm not going to pay again to get into a historic city center whilst I don't drink wine anyway. But if you're ever in Mulekov, you can park for free near the Tesco at uh, the highway. So that's a free parking spot. And now let's uh, drive a bit further. Unfortunately, that drive ended for me to sleep in the countryside. The next day, I would have liked to go into the caves and explore the area more. But remember the pain I had with walking around Letnis Castle? Well, my plans are a bit different for today, unfortunately. Okay, that was a bit um, unexpected, but uh, yeah, I didn't update for a lot because my pain in my knee went worse, so I stayed in a hotel, lovely place in the middle of nowhere, but next morning it's still not away so I didn't expect myself to end up in the hospital 
but that's where I'm at the moment and I'll share with you some practical tips when you ever, ever are in a hospital abroad. Keep this in mind when you visit this place. So yeah, walking around the hospital, it is for today. Okay, that's all sorted. It was uh, probably an inflammation in my knee. So took some anti-inflammatory injection in there and only take some drugs for the next couple of days, hopefully two, three days later. I'm back in business. But one tip, if this ever happens to you and you are European, don't forget to bring your European health insurance card with you abroad so you don't need to pay in advance. I forgot my card. They didn't accept the replacement certificate that you could get as well. So now I had to pay up front and now I need to claim it back later, which can take up to six months here in the UK, which can be very long. So don't forget that when you travel abroad. And the annoying bit about hospitals, when you have an issue on your leg and you have difficulties in walking, they will just send you from one department to another to make a payment, to do a scan. It's all located in different places. And with that, we leave the South Moravian region not completely behind us. The next time, we have spent a long time in the city Bruno and explored it inside out. So stay tuned for bunkers, villa and museum visits in this beautiful small city in the Czech Republic.